best not to draw attention here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
quest will put me in the ground. I am lost and honor bound. I feel I am going round and round. Where is honor to be found? I feel I am going round and round. I am lost and honor bound. Where is honor to be found? This quest will put me in the ground. I feel I am going round and round. Where is honor? You arrived without a sound. Are you a skald? I have never heard poetry shouted in this way. A skald? Oh no, not at all. I am truly looking for honor and have become lost as a result. You're looking for honor here. It's a bit remote. I am the seventh son of a seventh son. I am expected to bring great honor to my family. But everything has been done. My uncles and brothers have all had great victories, or even greater deaths. There's nothing left for me to do. The gods have been deaf to my pleas, but you are here. So you want a great victory from me, or a great death? No! I want to live, and I could not possibly hope to win against you. That is true. But maybe you could lead me to a victory. I can tell by looking at you, you're not a great warrior. You know it too. There is no reason to deny this. I could bring you a chance at honor. An animal of some kind. Something you could handle. Yes, yes. That could work. I could add a few details. Nothing too exaggerated. Skulls do it all the time. So now you're a skull. Do not go anywhere. I will only do this once. I will be here. On my honor. Sure to bring me a beast. Would you like to my dog? to bring me a beast now win your honor they are much bigger up close i do not think i can do this i do not think i can do this come ellen honor calls Martin, are you watching stay quickly almost there Not great as far as deaths go, but neither was he.
Þeir komu vestan frá nýjum byggðum.
But these relics will last forever. Welcome, warrior. Sulke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects, priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. But I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there is an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfden the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varin wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Sulke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Chadva pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran! Coward. I should cut you down. No! Deepen! Loki curse you! Words will not stop me!
Block from the other side.
look. It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Sirbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested how? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Show me your pics. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. This is my raiding crew, Eivor. But they lack an experience they make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron. Into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashil the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Wolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So those three, yeah? Huh? I have handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Ava Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Ava. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am re- <laughs> Fight! A raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man here. You have much to learn. <laughs> Fight me first. Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. Oh, they want you. That's enough. Did I win? No. You fought well. You have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. Uh. Uh. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. 
Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Tiny little child approaches. Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I have consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? You have the form of a very large swine. Come on, you can do better than that. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Brutal! I adore it! <laughs> Wonderful! Rare to find someone with any flighting skin. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service.
Come, come, don't be shy. These are locally sourced. Have you looked at... I have to go. See you soon. Ice if I stay here.
Þórum við aldrei svangir. Á hann að einu gula lit. Það var gott, Trifs. Ég hygga hans í lægi. Þetta er vissulega ást. Það er mikið frænda sig.
drep alt bra og ta gass. Get out of here. Hold on, good scout. Hush now. Oh, 
you have courage! Where shall? He has been taken by bandits! Come quickly! A Jarl taken by bandits? If you are as brave as you appear, you will come! <laughs> the Jarl will be grateful, trust me! This way! It is not far! <laughs> Hurry, or they will kill him! Kill him? Do they not want a ransom? Just hurry! We are near. Go, go on, they are up ahead. You know where they are. You lead. This pathetic gamble has cost them their lives. They threatened to kill me if I did not help. So to save your life, you led others to their death. Our village was burned by Kjotve the Cruel. We had to flee to the forest. Those who survived grew mean and desperate. Olaf, one of the men you killed, said we had to fight for our land. But he only wanted to kill for silver. You picked the wrong fight. I am of Raven Clan and Kjotve's sworn enemy. Then we share a common foe, and I was wrong to use you like that. Your second mistake was choosing me as your prey. That was not a mistake. Y you looked like a good fighter. I, I was hoping you would kill or weaken Olaf so I could escape. You are young and still foolish, so I'll spare you your life. But cross me again, or harm anyone I cherish, and you will join your friends in Helheimer's foul forests. Y you will never see me again. I will be a white rabbit in the snow! <laughs> <laughs>